All right, good morning. Uh, we have here today a uh, Swagit crimping tool today, and we're gonna demonstrate how to crimp a 5 16 inch uh, wire rope. So what we have here is the tool itself, a short strand of 5 16 inch wire rope, uh, the 5 16 inch crimping dies, uh, copper oval, oval sleeve, and also a completed crimp. So uh, in this video, we're gonna give you some very important instructions, not only how to operate the tool, but we're going to uh, explain a very important challenge you might encounter when actually using this tool. Uh, we want to make sure you use this tool safely and efficiently. Uh, so without further ado, we're going to begin the video. So over here, we have a completed crimp, okay? Uh, in the completed crimp, uh, it's, uh, we just use the two, two dies here, and it's firmly aligned so that it's uh, crimped in place, okay? Now, I do have to explain the nature of of uh, an oval sleeve. So we have an oval sleeve here, you know, uh, uncrimped of course, but if we look closely on the table right here, the nature, uh, this sometimes people when they use the tool, they think it's so easy, it's just a matter of pushing a button and it'll naturally want to crimp, but that's not necessarily true. The oval sleeve has rounded edges and so do these dies. So sometimes the tool and the, and the, the oval sleeve itself might want to do an offset. When it creates an offset like this, you're going to have a jam on the on the head of the tool. So, how do we avoid uh, doing this when the tool is about to make contact, slow contact with the the fitting? Right when your die is just about to touch the tool, you want to push gently and slowly and make sure that the wire rope in here is straight and true, so that when you're crimping, it's going to make a firm. Uh, mesh against the surface and it's going to make that clean crimp in instead of going off to the edge like that Okay, so uh, let's let's explain uh, Let's try it out and then use the tool properly. Okay, so we have some wire rope here We're just going to feed it through this oval sleeve. We're going to make a quick little noose Okay, so we've completed a little noose right here. Now, how do we uh, load this tool? Well, first of all, let's introduce what the tool uh, can do. So first, we have to lock the, the pieces in place, but I'm not in a very good working position, so I'm gonna swivel this head, okay? Now this head can be swiveled 180 left, back or, back or forth. We're gonna have it in this position, so I can work like this, okay? Now, we're going to pump this tool out a bit, okay, and you see here there's a button right here. So I'm going to push that button, and it's going to release a little tab. I'm going to slide in the first die, and then release that button, and then you're going to hear a click, and it's locked in place. If you keep holding that button, the die will slide all the way down, so that's very important. This die, this die is going to hold on to the center part of this little uh, ridge right here, okay? So we'll put in the second die, and it won't go all the way. Well, we'll have to release this button, we'll pull it back, and it'll be able to slide through. Okay, so this die is also in place. So it's a good idea to shake the dies a little bit to make sure it's firm in place, and then we're now ready to use the tool. But wait, the tool right now has too small of a gap. I can't possibly fit this this sleeve in here so we have to retract the tool so there's a release valve back here to access it we're going to look at the handle right here now this handle the pump handle if I keep pumping it's going to go forward but if I twist it like so and then push it down uh, the tool is going to retract okay now without further ado we're going to start uh, attempting to crimp the tool we're going to place it on the gr ground and give you uh, we're going to show you shortly in just a few moments so again uh, while we still have a good view on this tabletop, uh, you can see here, this is how we want it aligned. And then we pump the tool slowly until it makes contact. So you don't want this thing to be going left or right or up and down because when it's offset, it's going to be uh, jamming. Okay, so we're going to carry this tool, put it on the floor, and operate it for you guys. Okay, so we'll fit it in right here. Normally I suggest this be a two-man job, one person keeping this straight and true, 
and another person pumping the tool. Uh, so I'm doing this by myself and I'm just going to do it a little more slowly so we can see it. Okay, as I'm pumping, that um, the other half of that crimping die is slowly about to make contact. And now I have still a little bit of wiggle room. So you want to make sure that this doesn't move out of place. Make sure it's still perpendicular, straight and true against the edge of the, the, the die. Okay, now we're good. So when you're pumping and you're close to the edge, you want to pump slowly and hold, hold, the, hold the wire rope firmly. So you hear that squeaking noise? That means it's building up hydraulic pressure to crimp the tool. So we're going to continue pumping. I'm doing uh, maybe some a lot of frequent short strokes. When I do a lot of short strokes, it's applying little bits of pressure at a time. Or I could go long strokes, but I wouldn't suggest you go like heavy long strokes until you have a firm connection and it's not offset. If you're offset and you're going to use heavy pumps like that, it's only going to make the situation worse. So uh, we already know that it's in a good position, so we're going to finish this crimp. Okay, so now the tool just keeps pumping blankly. That means it's uh, crimped all the way. So I'm going to, again, twist this handle, push it down, and it's going to release. So we have here one complete crimp. Okay, so you'll know it's straight and true because both the crimping positions are both, uh, both evenly matched. If it's a bad position, it's going to be offset. So one is going to be crimped here, another might be crimped down here, and it sometimes might cause a jam in the tool. We, above all else, want to avoid uh, jamming the tool because it requires uh, releasing the valve and hammering this back, the ram back in. So we're going to uh, finish the last crimp right here. I'm going to take it from the back side so you can review it. Again, we're going to make sure it's lined up properly, close the distance, and right when it's about to make contact, you want to make sure that it's held straight and true and then pump slowly, gently. Build up some pressure with small short strokes. And now that now that's firm and we know it's straight and true, we can use long heavy strokes. And just about done. Okay, finished. Release it, and that's the second crimp right here. So thank you very much for view, uh, viewing this video. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to uh, uh, let, let us know. Uh, and uh, thank you very much for viewing the video.